behind TikTok's metric wise lies a dark reality. This app isn't designed to entertain you. It's designed to get you hooked, to turn you into a vegetable capable of nothing more than swiping, swiping and swiping again indefinitely for no reason, until you realize that you've just spent several hours in this app without finding any use for it. You've just wasted your day doing nothing. TikTok's designers don't care about your well-being. And it's not by accident that the application works differently whether you're using the Chinese or the Western version. China has decided to destroy Western youth with the help of Western leaders who are simply too stupid to realize that they are pushing their civilization to the end. As you watch this video, you will see the effects of TikTok and you will quickly realize that young people in the West have little to no future. TikTok is a slow poison that works like a drug, turning its young users into zombies unable to do anything but vegetate. Much like fentanyl addicts, feel free to leave a like and subscribe as we begin to explore how TikTok has ruined an entire generation. In 2016, a neurobiologist named Christian Lusher put mice in a cage with a button. When they press the button, a sensor stimulates their brains to release dopamine, the molecule associated with pleasure. Every time a mouse presses the button, it receives an instant shot of joy. Dopamine makes it possible to feel pleasure, and the brain loves this substance so much that if it understands that gambling equals pleasure, it can become addicted to it. The mice quickly became addicted to this button, wanting more and more shots of dopamine, to the point where they are no longer think about sleeping, eating, or even reproducing. If the scientists hadn't taken them out of their cages, the mice would have died happily with their dopamine shots. Now let's take this experiment on humans. Imagine that every time a mouse presses a button, you earn money. That's exactly what companies like TikTok, Facebook or Instagram are doing. The business model of these companies relies on your attention. They create a need. They offer you content and push you to keep scrolling. The more you scroll, the more money they make. And these companies have understood this perfectly well. They need you to be addicted to social media, which is why they serve you the most addictive and sexually implicit images. The most polarizing tweets are highlighted and videos of attractive people are featured on TikTok. Seemingly harmless, they set up systems to offer you the best content. The manipulation of your brain began discreetly with the red notification badge introduced in the 2010s. The color red was not chosen by accident, nor was the small one shape of the notifications. The set of cognitive biases in our primitive brains is virtually the same for everyone. We cannot outsmart our biology, no matter how smart we believe we are. We focus on items that are more noticeable, things that stand out. We make them a priority without thinking about it consciously. It's the primary evolutionary mechanism of attention and survival. There is a reason behind why those notification circles are red, the color of danger. We have also evolved as deeply social beings, depending on social cues from our fellow tribe members for survival. Over the course of human history, to win your social cues would be life-threatening. We look to other people to confirm our decisions and our very self-worth. This social biology of the brain has been digitized into likes and follows. Digital media developers that can tap into human neurological weaknesses can achieve higher user engagement most effectively, which in today's attention economy means money. The main purpose of the business becomes to get you to pick up that phone and stare at it as long as possible. In that game, one company has stood out from the rest. A company that has managed to get an entire generation hooked on its app in record time. That company is TikTok. TikTok has become one of the most prolific apps of recent times, with an impressive 1 billion active users every month. 
The average user spends 95 minutes a day on the app because they are addicted to its effects and by extension its algorithm. Every swipe they make on TikTok releases the same shot of dopamine that drove the mice to their death. TikTok is a unique social network. On YouTube, for example, you offer a set of videos to choose from, often videos you already know because your homepage is based on content you like, whereas on TikTok, as soon as you open the app, a video is chosen for you by the algorithm, and by scrolling, videos are added without you having to do anything which allows the TikTok algorithm to test you. They've made content consumption automatic and instantaneous, and the number of choices is drastically reduced to just one, in other words, to scroll down. Unlike YouTube which makes the task complicated with a multitude of choices, TikTok is inspired by the mice experiment, offering you just one choice, scroll down to get your new dopamine shot. Over time, the algorithm analyzes your preferences, the videos you like, the videos you read the comments on, the videos that capture your attention, to offer you the same content with no action on your part except to press the button like a rat. This is why this app is so popular, because it tests its users and knows them down to the smallest detail to offer them content tailored to their tastes. However, the years of use and precision of TikTok's algorithm are not without consequences. Swiping and finding videos you like effortlessly is even more dangerous for you, because those dopamine shots are even stronger. But if you come across content you'd never click on but enjoy, you'll get an unexpected dopamine shot. In a Forbes article, Dr. Julie Albright, a sociologist specializing in digital culture and communication, mentioned that TikTok users find themselves in this pleasurable dopamine state carried away. It's almost hypnotic you'll keep watching and watching. TikTok videos are the perfect dopamine boosters. They are short, engaging, and there's a constant supply of them, which only encourages us to watch more. You end up spending hours on TikTok because your brain can't seem to get enough of the dopamine rush. You'll keep swiping, swiping and swiping again because sometimes you like the content and sometimes you don't. It's very similar to gambling machines in casinos, other social networks like Instagram with Instagram Reels, YouTube with YouTube Shorts, trying to copy TikTok and do the same. They play on the fact that unpredictable rewards stimulate areas of the brain linked to behavioral development and learning. Random rewards or intermittent variable rewards is the behavioral psychology principle originally discovered by the experimental psychologist Bruce Frederick Skinner in the first half of the 20th century. In his experiment, he put lab rats in a box that isolated them from the external environment and had a behavior indicator such as a lever or a button. When the animal pushed the button or pulled a lever, the box would deliver a positive reinforcement of the behavior, along with noises and lights. A curious fact that Dr. Skinner discovered in his experiments on operant conditioning is that one of the most effective ways to motivate repeated behavior is to make the schedule of rewards random. His lab rats and pigeons tapped on the more button when they didn't know when the reward was coming. That's why people are addicted to gambling machines in casinos. You don't know what's going to happen, which is why Americans spend more money on slots than on movies movies, baseball, and theme parks combined. As you use TikTok and receive dopamine shots, your brain gets used to them and demands more and more of them, because the more video you watch, the more your brain gets used to the dopamine shots, the less effective they are. You'll watch more and more TikTok to satisfy your brain, which is already used to a large stream of videos, and that's where the addiction and problem starts. Watching an endless stream of 15 to 30 second videos reduces our attention span like no other type of media can. 
and the fact that regular users spend on average several hours more on TikTok than on more traditional social media platforms only exacerbates the problem. Short-term memory and the ability to concentrate are also affected. Dedicated TikTokers report that they can no longer concentrate on longer video formats, let alone read a book or do their homework. The worst part of being addicted to this app is that any activity that doesn't offer a dopamine rush will seem to go on forever, leaving you with a tingling, irrepressible urge to give up and go back to the activity that gives you effortless dopamine spikes. Little by little, TikTok users will fall into problems such as depression, anxiety, and hating disorders. Often called lazy, the internet generation is actually the first victim of the devastating effects of TikTok. Addicted to the dopamine shot, they can no longer find the motivation to do anything. As soon as they're faced with the slightest difficulty, their brains do what they're programmed to do, which is to take shelter in what they know best. Scrolling on TikTok, they no longer seek to make any effort because their brain cells are dead. Research shows that addiction gradually shrinks the human brain. Dopamine regulates your life, rewards you and makes sure you have enough motivation at every stage of your life to keep going and progress. Unfortunately, for those unlucky enough to live in the age of social media like TikTok, their dopamine receptors are destroyed, and almost irreversibly so. In its war against the US, China has pulled off a masterstroke, demotivating all its youth in the blink of an eye.